Hi, my name is Kathy Myron, and in today's tech tip, I wanted to share three signs that your backups are due for an upgrade. By now, you've probably heard me stress the importance of a good data backup. Whether you've lost or overwritten an important file, or you need to recover from a ransomware attack where they've held all of your data hostage, a good set of backups is going to ensure that you don't lose any data, that you have minimum downtime and disruption to your operations, and that you don't have to pay expensive ransoms to get your information back. But when was the last time you checked on your backups? A lot of our clients have a set it and forget it mentality. So they set it up and then weeks or maybe even months later, um, they go and check on it only when they need to recover something. But studies have shown that up to 58% of backups are unable to be recovered, either because of an issue with the backup itself or an error in the recovery. So it's worth looking at your backup software to make sure it's modern and current and that your, your backup strategy and processes are resilient and they're not prone to error. So the first sign that your backup may be due for an upgrade is if what you're doing is manual. If you're having to remember to attach USB drives to servers or to swap out different tapes um, or have somebody remember to kick off the backup on some kind of a regular schedule. If there's any element of manual touch in your process, it can be a source of disaster. When someone is sick or too busy or on vacation or they leave the company, this is often one of the first things that falls to the cracks and you only realize it when you go to restore your data only to realize that the backups haven't been running since Sally left the company six months ago. With today's software, there are so many more advanced ways where you can automate the scheduling and the testing and monitoring of those backups. There's really no reason to stick with manual processes anymore. The second reason is that your backups may be incomplete. So the older style of backup is file-based where you would have a set of uh, backup schedules and you would select the files and folders that you want to have included in the backup. This was great for space savings when storage was a real issue and it was very expensive. But nowadays to get the fastest recovery, what you want is a full image backup that's going to protect all of the information on the machine by default. There's no human intervention or manual review that you have to do periodically to ensure that your backups contain everything important. You just have to make sure that each of the servers you want to protect has the backup software in it, that it's running and that you're watching the reports. And then the last indicator that your backups might be due for an upgrade is if they're at risk for corruption or deletion by hackers. One of the most common tactics that ransomware gangs are using is that once they infect a machine, before they start encrypting data and tip off the, the end user uh, to the fact that their machines are infected, they're sitting there doing some reconnaissance. And one of the things that they usually do is attempt to disable and then also corrupt any backups that they can find on the system or the network. So according to the 321 rule, which is really the industry standard for backups and data protection, you want three copies of important data stored on at least two different types of media with one of those copies off site and off network. And that last one is really important because if you have your backup stored locally within your network in a way that is accessible to hackers because it doesn't have the protections of a separate authentication mechanism, it doesn't have um, insider threat protection that's going to prevent somebody from maliciously deleting those backups, then you're at risk of having those backups unavailable when you need them. If you'd like to learn more about how you can protect your business with a solid data backup and data protection strategy, I would love to hear from you. Just click the link below and schedule a time for us to meet. Thanks. Thank you.